In this video, we will introduce the must-have latest Skyrim mods for July 2024. In particular, the First Person Interactions mod created by the animator Jirapamba caught my eye. This mod shows animations from a first-person perspective when the Skyrim player interacts with the world. For example, if you pick up a coin pouch in first-person view, it shows you actually picking up the coin pouch with your hand. When looting a corpse, a hand gesture is added to show the motion of taking an item. And even when using mods like Simple Hunting Overhaul, it shows the motion of skinning an animal carcass in first person. Another advantage of this mod is that it is compatible with other mods like Skyrim's Got Talent and Simply Knock. This mod enhances first person interaction animations, allowing you to experience more immersive first person gameplay. I believe it deserves to be in this year's top 10, and I am pleased to introduce it to you first. Next up is the Dragon Combat Animations mod. This is a rather interesting mod that adds new attack animations for dragons. Instead of the monotonous biting or wing flapping, this mod introduces a two-stage biting attack for dragons, allows them to swipe with their wing, and even perform a large tail swing with a 180-degree rotation. These enhancements make the dragon's attack animations more dynamic. The mod is composed solely of animation files, without any ESPs. This means it's compatible with all mods that alter dragon statistics, skeletons, abilities, etc. It also works well with the ultimate dragon mod I use, allowing for a greater variety of dragon attacks. Since there aren't many dragon attack animations out there, I recommend giving this mod a try. If you decide to use it, I believe you'll be able to experience more dynamic dragon battles. Next up is the Elden Ring DLC Light Greatsword moveset. This mod recreates the one-handed and two-handed sword attack movements of the Light Greatsword, a weapon from the Elden Ring DLC. If you've enjoyed playing the recently released Elden Ring DLC, you might also like these movements, so I thought I'd introduce them. In addition to this motion converted by the Creator Cult, there is also a Light Greatsword moveset, converted by the Creator Black. This mod includes a dual moveset, so it seems to have more motions than Black's, but it appears to be designed to work in conjunction with mods, like Dynamic Grip. You can choose and use whichever one suits your preference. Next up is Ina Poser SE. This mod allows you to recreate poses frequently used by women for photo shoots within the game. It includes poses such as the heart shape, poses for snapshots, and V-shaped poses. These poses can be taken in standing, kneeling, and sitting positions. You can use these poses through Poser Hotkey Plus SSE or Photo Mode. In my case, I tried using it through Photo Mode, and it mainly consisted of poses for photo shoots allowing me to create more suitable poses for the character. If you prefer to take photos of your character, it might be a good idea to add these poses. Next, I'd like to introduce you to a hidden gem among Skyrim mods, namely Landing Stop. This mod temporarily restricts the movement of Skyrim players when they land, improving the jumping action that can otherwise look like skating. Just like in Oblivion, in Skyrim 2, the character doesn't stop moving at all after jumping and landing, which can seem quite unnatural. This mod addresses this issue by momentarily halting movement upon landing after a jump. It's a small but quite brilliant feature of this mod, which is surprisingly not well known, hence the introduction. However, please note that when used in conjunction with true directional movement, changing direction while jumping can cause the camera to rotate. Not a major issue, but something to keep in mind when using it. I hope this mod adds a small upgrade to your gameplay experience. This time, I'd like to introduce a magic-related mod. First up is the Mesmer Magic Illusory Clone Decoy Spell Pack. This mod adds a clone spell that creates a duplicate of the player's appearance. This clone looks identical to the player, including the face, hair, armor, and weapons. However, it's just a clone, so it will disappear if it takes any damage. When the illusion is destroyed, the feedback that dispels the illusion knocks down the attacker and causes them to take additional damage for a short time. This mod has quite interesting features, 
So if you prefer playing with a ninja concept, adding this spell could make your magic battles more dynamic. Next up is Magic Surge. This mod adds a variety of fun and unique spells that assist in regenerating magicka. No longer do you need to wield a sword or wait for your mana to refill. You can instantly restore magicka at the cost of your health, allowing you to unleash a final magical blow on your enemy. Currently, it adds a total of five spells, three of which are destruction spells and two are alteration spells. These are added to the leveled list via Skypatcher, so you can find or purchase them from vendors. Now, with these new Magicka recovery spells, I encourage you to explore a more diverse and powerful path as a mage. This time, we're focusing on follower-related mods. First, let's introduce the follower dialogue expansion, Uthgird the Unbroken. This mod adds so 164 immersive, lore-friendly dialogue lines to the character Uthgird. Upon He's initiating a, fool, a conversation, of anyone's you'll be able to ask My her about blood? her thoughts on Nazim and why she warriors. came to enjoy fighting. Most of our Additionally, city of location recognition is added when visiting city shadows. dungeons, Get and ready. new story-driven interactions are introduced. If you've been adding the FDE alone, series to your game, this to mod would be a great list. addition. Next up is the Yai Miko Custom Voiced Follower. This mod brings Yai Miko, a character from the game Genshin Impact, into the world of Skyrim. It customizes Yai Miko's voice to inject to more vibrancy into I'm the game, the and you can find her in Solitude. This mod offers a new experience for Skyrim players, and will be particularly interesting for fans of Genshin Impact. Through this mod, exploring the vast world of Skyrim with Yai Miko could be a great choice. The mod I'm introducing this time is a location-related mod called the Quaint Hamlet of Soljun's Sinkhole. This mod transforms Soljun's Sinkhole into a small and beautiful village. It adds new buildings, NPCs, and miscellaneous an quests, like you. all of oh, which are fully voiced. Kidding. With completed navigation meshes and marked with ESP light, this mod introduces two new buildings, four new NPCs, three miscellaneous quests, new structures, and upgrades the scenery to transform Soljun's sinkhole into a vibrant little village, injecting more vitality into your adventures. This mod is particularly recommended for those who want to improve various places in Skyrim, and with the addition of quests, it can add excitement to your adventures. Lastly, let's discuss some outfit-related mods, starting with the Soul Hunter Armor mashup. This mod adds a mashup of certain weapons and the Soul Hunter armor, along with a new dungeon that features custom undead enemies. You can find pieces of armor, weapons, medallions, and a spell tome to summon skeletons in the dungeon located to the left of the main fortress, where Valerica is initially trapped, in the Soul Cairn. Once you obtain the armor pieces from the dungeon, you can craft all alternative versions at the forge. It seems like you'll need to progress quite a bit in the Dawnguard to do this, and it also requires smithing skills. It appears to be an outfit that you can earn as a reward for your efforts. This mod adds a new dungeon and custom undead enemies to the game. It introduces new armor and weapons. This should make the game more interesting and fun. Next up is Rolling Waves. This mod adds the Rolling Waves armor set, inspired by Beidou from Genshin Impact. It incorporates HDT SMP physics into the coat and includes 3BA, CBBE, BHUNP, and UBE body slide files. The overall design, including the eye patch on the left eye, evokes a pirate theme. The combination of cloth and leather design is quite impressive. If you're interested in Genshin Impact, or if you personally like the outfit in the video, I recommend giving it a try. Thank you for joining us in today's video, showcasing the must-have new Skyrim mods for the first week of July 2024. As we wrap up, don't forget to grab these essential mods to enhance your Skyrim experience. Stay tuned for more exciting content. And until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.